Right, I think we're having a bit of a blackout. Um, the power just went out. Uh, this happens from time to time uh, in your home, you know, due to a faulty light, a faulty switch or an electrical appliances. Uh, that does not mean that your circuit breaker is faulty. Your circuit breaker actually worked to save you from getting electric shock. So uh, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to reset your breakers and uh, to do it safely, you know, on, on your own. You could, of course, call an electrician, but if it's going to be a uh, you know, at night or if it's going to be on a weekend, you're going to be looking at a couple hundred bucks. So save yourself a bit of money and uh, try it yourself. If this doesn't work and if you're not comfortable with it, please, of course, engage a professional. Uh, but before I get into the video, do smash me a like, share and subscribe so you can see more videos like this. And uh, of course, leave a comment, uh, you know, if you have any questions uh, that I could help out with uh, any videos that I could do. And with that out of the way, let's get straight into it. So in this home, the uh, circuit breaker box is located inside the shoe cabinet. So take out all the shoes in the shelves to expose your circuit breaker, uh, circuit breaker box. Uh, give it, you open it up, and as you can see, uh, in this uh, instance, this is an RCCB, okay, or the residual current circuit breaker. What it does is it, um, it disconnects your house from the main supply if there is any shortage uh, in your wiring or there's a faulty appliance that may get you electrocuted so it, this is actually working now when you try to reset circuit breakers you only flip them up once do not keep you know jiggling them up and down as this may cause a fire as i mentioned this is protecting you so just give it a try push it up once if it falls down again um, there is a failure somewhere in your system so here we go Right? Okay, obviously that doesn't work. So, uh, in the next step, what we're gonna do is to pull down all the circuit breakers. Starting from your main, all the blue ones, and all the small ones. Okay, so now all your circuit breakers have been pulled down. We'll go and start identifying which is the uh, problem circuit. Now your circuit breakers are grouped into um, different sections of the house. So by identifying which breaker is the problem uh, breaker or the problem circuit, you can then home in on the switch or the component that needs replacing or fixing. So to start, put up the main switch followed by all the big main breakers. Once that's done, push up the RCCB. Right, if you notice, the, uh, the RCCB that couldn't go up the previous time is now holding its position up there. And one by one, you're going to flip up each circuit breaker. Just give it a sec. Hey, nothing is uh, tripping at this point of time. Then, ah, there we go. As soon as I flip this up, the RCCB went down. So I suspect that this may be the problem circuit breaker. So I pull this down again. And start the whole process again. So main switch up. Main breakers up, RCCBs up, and the rest. Skip this one, that's the problem one, and go next. Okay, well, so now we've isolated the circuit and that's the one that's uh, down. We can go through the house and identify which part of the house the, uh, the problem lies. In this instance, this is the living room. So we know that, the, uh, that that is the problem switch. And the first one, which is the cove light, is the one that's giving us the problem. Uh, so with that, we can go ahead and uh, take out the switch 
and change the lights and change the components and to try to, uh, to solve the problem. But in this setup, power to most of your house would have been restored and you could wait out for an electrician or a handyman to come and solve the rest of the problems so that you know it doesn't inconvenience you too much. Okay, sometimes as you're going through the house checking what works and what doesn't, you come across some sockets. Um, to test if the socket is working, you could of course plug a phone charger, you could pr plug a fan into it to see if the socket is actually powered up. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, in some cases, the socket might not be powered up and that is because it's connected to the inactive circuit breaker. And what that means is that your appliance may be faulty, you know. Um, and if you come across that scenario, what you should do is to turn off all your appliances, remove them from the wall and then reset your circuit breaker. If, uh, if that works, that would mean that one of the, uh, the appliances is actually faulty and uh, that appliance needs to be changed. And how you would know is that if you set the appliance and turn it on, your house would immediately trip again. Then, you know, just don't use the appliance, um, get rid of it, buy a new one, uh, just don't use it anymore because you may get an electric shock. If even taking out all your appliances doesn't work, and the house is still, uh, the, the sockets are still uh, inactive, then probably you might need to get a professional to come and have a look at your circuitry. Something is wrong. But I hope that helped you. Um, good luck and I hope you get your power restored. Looking at this, at watching this video to restore your power. And of course, if that helped, leave a comment, give me a like, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.